Hello friends and happy Tuesday. <laughs> so I was just sharing a uh, TikTok viral um, like crock pot meal with you guys and I was just going to put the food in the t in the crock pot and I discovered something. I'm going to try to show you. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera but I'll try to show you in just a sec. So I think you can see it. You can definitely see that it's split but I went to plug it in and I realized there were little bite marks all over the cord and the cord is kind of shredded. I'm thinking Bubsy. <laughs> so now I have to run to Target and get a new crock pot. <sighs> okay, here I go. Okay, so I am back from Target and here is the crock pot that I got. I'm actually really excited because this one has these like clamps at the top that I can use when I'm transporting it, which my other one didn't have. Here I have one pound of chicken, a box of rotini, a can of Rotel tomatoes, two cans of cream of chicken soup, sour cream, we're gonna be putting a quarter cup of that in later, um, onion powder, garlic powder, uh, paprika, salt, and pepper. So these are all the ingredients for the meal. So I have to apologize because I feel like I didn't get the best angles here while I was putting this together. But what I did is I added the chicken and I said a pound of chicken, it's actually one chicken breast because it was so large. If it was a smaller chicken breast, I probably would have done two chicken breasts. Um, so it was one chicken breast, about a pound of chicken. And then I did a tablespoon of the garlic powder, a teaspoon of the onion powder, and then I just sprinkled in the paprika, the salt, and the pepper. I couldn't find an exact recipe, like typed out or written out here, um, so I kind of had to guess on <laughs> the portions. That's something I struggle with when I find like re like TikTok viral recipes. They don't always tell you like the recipe exactly, so there's a little bit of guessing here. But you guys, this recipe turned out so good. Everyone loved it, so I would highly recommend it. So next, I added the two cans of cream of chicken soup and the one can of Rotel tomatoes. I did not drain the can of Rotel tomatoes. I just included all of that nice, delicious juice <laughs> in with the recipe. Um, and then I stirred it together just a little bit to mix it. Next, I put a lid on the top and then I set the the time to cook. I I think the I think the the video I saw said cook on low for three hours or, I mean sorry low for six hours or high for three hours. So I did low, um, but it didn't take it didn't take six hours. Um, it was actually done before then. But I think my new crock pot's just like really strong. Like it cooked really fast. So after a few, I think after three hours, I turned it just to um, like uh, warm and it kept, continued to cook it. So when it was closer time for us to go over to Megan and Joey's, I don't remember if I told you, but I was making this meal to take to Megan and Joey's house. We've been going to their house every Tuesday. Um, you know, as I'm going through my divorce, she's just, she's my oldest friend and she's divorced herself. So it's just been really helpful to hang out together once a week so I can just have somebody to talk to like every week about everything that's going on. And I appreciate her so much. So every Tuesday, Logan and I have been going over to her house and having dinner with her and Joey. And she and I have been taking turns making the dinner. So one week I'll make the dinner and one week she'll make the dinner. So the sides that I'm making to go with um, our meal tonight are um, strawberries and crescent rolls. And then we're having these chocolate chip cookies for dessert. And I did show you the boiling water and the pasta because you add that at the very end. So like after you've cooked your chicken and sauce then you add the pasta noodles to your um, crock pot meal so um, it's cooked separately you know it's not cooked in the crock pot so Megan and I were talking about like because this meal doesn't have a name necessarily um, this dish and she and I were talking about like the flavors that you get in the meal and we agreed that it kind of tastes like like if you like queso you're gonna like this meal because it tastes like pasta with queso and chicken so it's like a 
queso chicken pasta dish and it is so yummy it has so much flavor I feel like adding those spices the onion powder and the garlic powder also you know added a lot to the flavor as well so one of my tricks here so we don't get the best produce in the Midwest <laughs> where I live in Iowa so um, fruit doesn't taste necessarily exactly how it's supposed to taste and one of the tricks i found with berries is that if you add sugar and in this case i added monk fruit instead of sugar but if you add a little bit of it to the fruit and stir it together and let it sit it has more of a sweet taste and less less of a sour taste otherwise our berries here can be very very sour instead of sweet i also making a little side of butter noodles which is just plant the plain noodles with some butter and some seasoned salt and I made this just in case Joey didn't like the um, the crock pot meal. But Joey's actually a really good eater. He is so like he always tries everything I make, which is so nice. Because <laughs> Logan is very very picky eater. So the, those those plain noodles with butter and seasoned salt were also an option for Logan in case he didn't want the the queso noodles. So the final step in this process is uh, I, sh I shredded up a block of cheese, but I did half of it first and stirred it into with the noodles and the sauce. And then I grated the second half and I sprinkled it on top and then just put the lid on the crock pot to let it all like melt together. And like I said, this crock pot was portable because it has a lid that can like clasp shut. So when we were, when it was time to go, all I had to do was put the lid on, put the clasp it and take it over to the house. Here I was like um, bundling up the food to take with us. So those were the cookies and the crescent rolls. This was a really fun and delicious meal. Thank you guys for letting me share it with you. Okay, let's get to work. Hello guys, so I'm outside my house. I'm going for a walk. I've been trying to go for like several short walks a day, trying to get back in better shape, get healthier for myself and my kids. But um, also too, I just received some bad news and I just, I don't wanna tell Logan, like my heart is breaking. So this year, when we go to Michigan. Oh, I thought there was someone behind me. <laughs> so this year when we go to Michigan, we were gonna do something super special. There's a boat or a ship called the SS Badger, and it's a, uh, is it called a cargo? No, I forgot the name of it, where they take, like you can drive your car up onto it. And they have like a bunch of stuff, like you don't stay in your car. They have two restaurants, a movie theater, um, an arcade, like lots of things to do. We've never done it, but this year, since David won't be going to Michigan with us, and it just, I'm out of breath. Just to make life like a little bit more fun, I thought it would be fun to take the badger. And um, it turns out we don't have to get a hotel room this year like I thought I was planning on doing. So instead, I used some money to get us tickets on the Badger. Just for the trip to Michigan, we were, just, we were gonna drive home. It's about a 10 hour drive for us. So if we were able to do this, it would have just been a six hour drive to the Badger and then four hours. So the Badgers, we would board in Wisconsin. So it'd be four hours across the lake over to Ludington. But unfortunately, the hydraulic lift um, where the cars like go on has broken. And I think they tried to repair it, but then have ultimately decided just to close down the Badger for the rest of the season. So I already told Jacob. Jacob's actually been on the Badger before, so this would have been his second trip. He did it once with my parents, but I've never done it, and Logan's never done it. So we were like really looking forward to it. <laughs> when I told Jacob, he was also, he was disappointed, but he <laughs> said, oh, I don't want to be around when you tell Logan. <laughs> Like, I know, I don't want to tell Logan. Like, I'm so sad. I guess this is the first, like, hard parents being divorced kind of thing that we're having to deal with. So far, it hasn't been too crazy 
not too many changes, but David won't be there. That's weird, going on family vacation without my husband. And now we don't get to do this. <sighs> but besides that, let me tell you about my day. I've had a very productive day today. I ran a bunch of errands this morning. I got up super early. I got up at 6 a.m. That's super early for me. Back when I was teaching, that was normal, but <laughs> these days I don't get up at 6 a.m. Ran a bunch of errands, started up on printing off stickers for Jacob to cut because he's coming in to cut today. Took a quick break to get the crock pot meal started, <laughs> but then I had to run to Target to pick up a new crock pot. That took about, just a little under an hour out of my like work schedule. So that was a little bit frustrating. Since I had gotten up so early, I was able to still get all of my work done. So everything is ready for Jacob to cut. I still have a couple of hours before we're gonna head over to Megan and Joey's. And since Jacob is working in the office and I can't do anything there, I'm gonna work on cleaning the house. I don't always have time to clean the house so whenever I have find myself with extra time I take advantage of that and get some cleaning done. Hello friends and happy Thursday. It is Thursday evening 8 30 p.m. and I, I don't remember the last time I talked to you guys. I think it was when I was making dinner to go over to Megan's house but um so this week I've been really working really hard on getting orders filled so that I could bring out the mystery kits. If I couldn't get like caught up enough on the regular orders. I was gonna skip mystery kits for this month, but as of today, I've gotten down to five orders. There's only five open orders, and I still have another day this week, tomorrow, to finish those. So that is the plan. So I went ahead and I released the mystery kits today. I actually filmed a plan with me with July's mystery kit, and this is what it looked like. I love this one so much, so pretty. So that was the July mystery kit. Oh, but by the time you watch this video, uh, the shop will be closed because this, sh this video is going up on Sunday and the shop um, is actually closing on Saturday at midnight. So I'm sorry if you missed the August mystery kit release. Um, when I have completed six mystery kits, my plan is to share all of them with you again and then do like a poll, a vote, and whichever pattern is the most popular, I'm gonna re-release it to the shop and have it available for everybody to purchase from in every uh, planner I make. Uh, mystery, uh, all, not just my mystery kit planners, <laughs> my normal ones, but all the stickers I make. Okay, so. I did film a little bit of me working in the shop today, so I'll share that with you in just a second. But what I have going on the next few days before I leave for vacation um, is I want to get a jump start on the mystery kits. I'm gonna start printing and cutting them now. I can look at past sales to kind of guess how many I need, so I wanna get that started right away. And then I'm actually not leaving for vacation until Wednesday, so I'll still have Monday and Tuesday to work on getting orders out, and Jacob's gonna come and help me on Monday and Tuesday, so. Yeah, that's where we are. Oh, I didn't tell you like the best news. Okay, this is so exciting, you guys. My mom found another boat. <laughs> so we still get to take a boat. It's not as big as the Badger. It's a smaller one, but it's still like big enough where you can drive your car up onto the boat. And then they have like a seating area. They have one restaurant and they have a way for you to watch movies. So not as big as the Badger, not as many things as the Badger, but it's also faster. because the Badger was gonna take us four hours to cross Lake Michigan. And on this boat, it's only gonna take us two and a half hours. So I'm so excited. My mom saved the day because Logan was so disappointed. I, I knew he would be disappointed and he was so disappointed. And then my mom found this boat for us. So we're still getting to take a boat to Michigan. So excited about that. Okay friends, I don't really have a lot happening the rest of the week. I'm just gonna be working on orders and getting a head start on mystery kits. So I think this will be a good time for me to say goodbye. Um, there won't be a vlog next week because I won't be coming home until Sunday. And even though I'm gonna take footage when I'm on vacation, I won't have time to edit and upload it by Sunday. So maybe on Monday? Monday the 14th, maybe? <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys again next week. Don't forget to keep watching for a few more seconds to see what life is like in the Etsy shop. <laughs> Bye guys.